Hey, what's up guys and welcome to the second video on C Sharp. So this video is going to be mainly just kind of going over Visual Studio and just a quick crash course, if you will, on just the really basics of Visual Studio and how to work with the IDE, okay? Just some, some things that you may need to know, okay? And if you're already familiar with Visual Studio, you can go ahead and go to the next video unless you want to just kind of stick around and just see if I have anything new to show you. Uh, and if you're not, then just kind of, you know, just take a look at the, some of the things that I'll be, some of the common things that uh, we'll be doing and just get, get everyone more familiar with it. And if you do skip uh, the video, I guess I will never know. So <laughs> here we go. So the, the first thing basically is a solution explorer over here to the right. Okay. And uh, as you may have already guessed it, this is the spot where all of our files were going to be. So uh, we only have one CS file and here it is. Okay. And if we made another one, it'd be right here. And here it shows you here the class that it's in, okay? So over here we have a program class, okay? And if we were to make another class, say test, then it'll show up here and it'll show you that we now have two classes. And if we were to make a, say, whatever kind of method, it'll show that we have a whatever kind of method right here, okay? So it gives us a little bit of a breakdown, an outline, if you will, of, of our code and what's going on at a quick glance. And that's that's pretty helpful, okay? And the so, so Solution Explorer is where we can do a lot of our stuff, such as if you right click, we can rebuild, clean, build, and we can do a lot of other stuff like set a start project, delete, rename. So a lot of our stuff, a lot of the action happens here in the Solution Explorer. And if for any reason you don't have it, say if it's gone for any reason, then the way you can get that back in as long as with really any window, you can go to view. And if you don't see it here, you'd have to go to other. And if you don't see it here, then it's bound to be back over here. Okay. So uh, just kind of look around, but it's going to be up here. Control L if you need to be, but that's just kind of a way to get to any view. So if you want to go and if you don't know a document outline, you can come into other windows, document outlines right here. And that'll kind of open up windows. So, and if, if you don't want this window right here, what you can do is really actually customizable Visual Studio. You can pull it out and then you can really put it anywhere you like. Okay. So here gives you a little preview of where it will be here. I want it. I want it in this pane and I want it actually on the top or the bottom or the, to fill the whole thing. Now I have tabs. And if I don't want it to tap, I want it back to where I want it to be. I can come into here, put it into, grab it, grab it from here, the document outline from the tab and then right here. Okay. So just a little bit of a customization if, and to get it to where you want it to be and, and kind of just get things, you know, in, in favor of you. Right. So the, the, the other important thing that I, that I like, um, is line numbers. And, and by default, if you just install it, visual studio probably doesn't have a line numbers for C sharp. So if you need line numbers, like you see right here, what you need to do is go to tools options, and then come down to text editor, open that up, go to C sharp and then enable line numbers. Okay. So once you enable that, they should show up here. And line numbers are really helpful, obviously, when it gives you a line number, hey, you know, you got a null reference or something, uh, line four, and then you don't have line four, or line 2000, where's line 2000? So that is a really helpful thing to have turned on, all right? And then just a few other things, of course, like file, you have some stuff like you can start a new project, save, and editing, of course, is pretty self-explanatory. You can do some stuff with the IntelliSense. So really a lot of stuff that, and, and advanced things that you can do but the Solution Explorer kind of customizing it and open up views and of course line numbers are something that, that really uh, you're probably going to need the least the basics of. And what's really helpful is over, if you go over here, if you have more than one method, say if you have like 10 functions, then you can click right here and then have all your functions listed for this, this certain file that you have open. Okay. So that's another thing that's really helpful. And there's going to be some things that I do in, in the next videos and the next really the series like shortcuts and I'll be do my best to explain like how to implement something quickly or if you're getting an error, how to show that error quickly. Um, just like a little, lot of keyboard shortcuts really that you can change of course yourself. But once I do that, then um, I'll be sure to point that out. And then of course, because that really kind of just helps me to be more productive. And once you kind of get used to the ID, then you'll see yourself kind of using shortcuts and building stuff and uh, just a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. And 
one other thing, the last thing I want to show you guys is say if you have like, you know, let's just copy and paste this code from, from the last tutorial. If you have like all this kind of, all this code, you know, of course you can comment how you normally would if you are familiar with that. Okay. And if you, but that become, becomes cumbersome. So what you could do is actually highlight a whole block of code and then just come into here and hit that button and then it'll highlight. All right. And then of course you can unhighlight it like that, or I'm sorry, uncomment it just like that back and forth. And there you go. So that's really helpful too, when you really need to like kind of just comment out a block of code and really just not want to have to, uh, to do the, the four slash asterisk on, on the whole thing. So just something really helpful. And there's a lot of other stuff that I'll go ahead and show you in, in the future, but these are just a few basic things that, that I think is really, really helpful to know and get you started in the right direction using Visual Studio as your main ID. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.